like a day in the life here in Kuala Lumpur since it's the city that I'm going to spend or that I'm spending uh, most of my time here in Malaysia uh, I'm going to bring along of course any day every day it's always different and it always has different things to do this is not like unusual the usual kind of day but still it's uh, pretty similar so it's uh, past 11 and probably at the time that I will get out of the room of the apartment will be almost noon uh, but yeah, yesterday I work up until late because I do work online uh, that's how I can balance my travel life in uh, um, since the the time zone is different of course what I usually do in the morning in Italy is going to be at night here in Kuala Lumpur but that's okay that's how I can afford to travel anyway so I'm grateful for that I'm planning to just go grab something to eat uh, they maybe hit the gym here in the building because uh, the great thing about this building, the place that I'm staying here, or the fact uh, that it's pretty central. It's just, it's also the fact that it has a gym and it also has a co-working space, which is great for people that work online like myself. And it also has a swimming pool on the top floor, which where you can see like all the skyline of the city, which is really really great. So that's the two things that I'm planning to do: gym uh after eating to digest food and then eat the pool the reason for which i'm going to eat the gym after is well taking care of myself because it can be a bit pretty hard especially when you travel uh for a long period of time and just take care of yourself of yourself and since i'm a foodie i love to eat especially when in a new place that can be challenging and since tonight i'm planning to go visit Jalar. Jalal or street food market you know we have to empty the stomach to prepare it for what's coming tonight I'm definitely a big fan of Korean barbecue I just love it I'm such a huge fan and so as soon as I found a Korean barbecue here in Kuala Lumpur of course I had to try it I really like the concept around it. You just make a wrap with lettuce, you put some uh, some beef, a bit of kimchi, a bit of uh, Korean sauce, you just wrap it around. Mm. It was so good. That tastes like, like heaven for me, honestly. And also, this is like um, steamed like um, eggs that they're being steamed into this clay pot, which makes it so much tasty. Just wait with a little bit of rice as well. Mm. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, food is so good. And I also like the fact that you you cook by, for yourself, basically. Like you make your own your own meat, which just give it more to the fact, to the whole experience in itself. This should be... Pico radish. Try a different one, and this is should be. Oh, I don't know this kind of sauce. Mm. Very good. I didn't know how happy food can make me. Like, let's say that you had a, a bad day. Food can really make things so much better. The only thing for the Korean barbecue that it's like kind of a downside is that you should have a person designated to to grill the meat because you either grill and you eat it hot or you eat basically. And apparently I'm the person designated for for the task, so that's okay.
just came back. Well, a few minutes ago, came back from uh, uh, my gym session. And sorry if you see so uh, some stuff hanging around, but there is no laundry, and I'm traveling as minimal as I can. So I just brought brought with me just few stuff, like few pieces of clothes that I can mismatch. I'm all about minimal when traveling. I don't like to travel and distracting myself with huge luggage. Anyway, so like I said, there is no laundry. There is not hanging for anything. So I just have to get make gallery with where how I put my stuff to dry. Anyway, uh, still pretty early. I'm planning to eat a cafe near here, which uh, it's the nearest one. And I want just something to something sweet to to grab and maybe some coffee to drink something like that. And um, I went there a few days ago. Like it's a chain here actually. Uh, I went there a few days ago. It was clo it was closed. So I'll try again today. And after that, I'm planning since I've already visited pretty much everything here in Kuala Lumpur. Um, I haven't much to do today, so probably I'm going to eat as kind of a street art uh, place in, uh, let's see how it is. Traveling can also help you learn and improve in your adaptability because the plan didn't go exactly as I was expecting. I went check it out the this kind of street art, but wasn't really wasn't really that good, honestly. And kind of the worst part, if we can call it like that, by walking. My pair of shoe, my favorite pair of shoes or flip flop, they just fall apart, just fallen apart while walking. So I had to, I don't know, put a string on it and try and reach the nearest uh, shoe shop that was kind of affordable to find a new pair. So I spent most of the time just wandering around and find a shoe, um, a shoe shop. Because even though in Kuala Lumpur there are many malls, well, the thing is that they are for rich. Like, they're for rich people. Inside you find like Bottega Veneta, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and it's not really on my budget. So I have to find something else. And that was a lot of my time. And I was already fed up and I was already very tired. So I just went and find a fur, bought the first pair of flip flop uh to manage for the rest of the of the trip Well, my day is pretty much over now because I have some work to do and that's going to be it, honestly. Uh, so I'm going to take a shower, some work to do, and that's it for today. So thank you so much for joining me on uh, this day here in Kuala Lumpur. Hope you enjoyed it, you find it interesting, maybe just a snippet, snippet of our daily life. And as always, don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed the video, to support the channel, to subscribe to for more insight about traveling and inspiration, and also maybe leave a comment. Uh, and see you soon.